Creating Accessible Excel Files, Chapter 6, Creating Accessible Charts. This training is produced by the Accessibility and Policy Unit of the California Department of Social Services. While making charts accessible may be a bit more complicated, the multi-layered steps also provide a good overview of many of the topics we have covered thus far for Excel accessibility. We will touch upon the accessibility of tables, creating meaningful navigation, using color appropriately, and using text equivalents and alt text for images and visual elements. The criteria this video covers is WCAG 2.4.2, page title, 2.4.6, headings and labels, 1.3.1, info and relationships, 1.1.1, alternative text, 1.4.1, color alone, and 1.4.3, color contrast requirements. Creating meaningful navigation to charts. Certain steps need to be taken to ensure assistive technology users can find and navigate to charts. We must consider and build in meaningful navigation as we develop our worksheets. We will review some steps from chapter two, creating meaningful navigation, and chapter three, creating accessible tables. We will also introduce some new steps to make sure assistive technology users can find and enter into charts. First, to create a line chart, we need to create an actual accessible table as discussed in chapter three. To have accessible tables, we also need a descriptive table title and a title region applied so that the column and row headers will read per data cell. Remember that descriptive table titles make it possible for assistive technology users to search for tables and navigate to those tables. Title regions, on the other hand, make it so the screen reader can hear column and row headers read with each correlating data cell. As a brief refresher to create a table, remember to highlight all of the data in the table, select the insert tab and select table, and then Check the box, My Table Has Headers, in the dialog box. Please review Chapter 3 if you need more detailed instructions on how to create an accessible table, and not all accessibility requirements of tables are discussed in this chapter. After creating an accessible table, we can start working on creating an accessible line chart. Step 1. Make sure you have focus somewhere within the table. Step two, select the line chart icon in the charts area. Step three, we recommend selecting an option with data points as this provides an alternative similar to a text alternative to using color alone for meaning. As each line usually has a different color that represents certain data from the table. We will return to the line chart colors and data points later in this video. For the time being, we will focus on creating meaningful navigation to charts. Providing a meaningful name to the chart is key. Step four, click on the chart title area to type in a meaningful chart title. In chapter two, we discussed creating meaningful navigation and this includes providing meaningful names for searchable and navigable elements for assistive technology users. For example, workbooks are required to have meaningful titles. We also discuss the need to provide meaningful names for tables and worksheets. We also need to do this for charts. With the non-visual desktop access NVDA screen reader, screen reader users can open up what is called the elements list and view all of the sheets within the workbook and select all charts per sheet. In other words, the screen reader user must first access the meaningful sheet name to then navigate to the correct sheet. Once on the sheet, screen reader users can then select from the meaningful chart titles within the sheet to navigate to a chart on that sheet. If all of the sheets and charts were left blank or without meaningful information, it would be difficult to search through all of the sheets and then search through all of the charts per sheet to find the correct chart. There is a navigation structure within Excel for assistive technology users. 
This is why providing meaningful names are critical for accessibility. Excel charts provide some great accessibility. Once the screen reader user enters into the chart by using those meaningful names we created, they can navigate between lines and marker points and hear increases and decreases in data, etc. Tip, if the chart is copied and pasted into Word, the screen reader user can usually still jump into the chart and listen to the data. Note, to achieve the same level of accessibility is usually really difficult to impossible to achieve if the chart is converted to PDF. Again, in order to create accessible navigation to charts for assistive technology users, it is important for us to create meaningful names to the sheets and charts. Color and charts. The WCAG level AA color contrast requirement is 4.5 to 1 for regular text. Unfortunately, none of the lines in this chart meet the requirement. A color contrast testing tool like the color contrast analyzer is imperative when creating charts and graphs. Please see Chapter 7 in the Word Accessibility Training video if you need assistance with the steps for testing color contrast with this tool. As we discussed earlier, when creating a line chart, make sure to select an option with marker points, as providing unique marker points per line provide an alternative to the issue of using color alone for meaning. Once we select the line chart with marker points, then we can go in and adjust the type, size, and color of these markers. Unique marker points are critical, for example, for people with certain kinds of color blindness or for some people with low vision. With the automatically generated line chart, each line has tiny circles to represent each marker point. There is nothing unique visually to differentiate between each line other than color. This is a significant accessibility barrier. We need something more than color to represent that this line is different from the other lines and, for example, is related to categories from 2014. Fortunately, we can change all of the marker points per line fairly easily. Step one toward adjusting the color contrast of the lines and marker points as well as changing the style of the marker points, is to click on a line you wish to edit. Once you click on the line, four tiny light blue circles should populate around each marker point. This will tell you that the entire line is selected for editing. Step two, right click on the line you have selected. Step three, select format data series from the dialog box. Step four, select the fill bucket to open the line and marker options from the format data series pane, which will populate on the right hand side of your screen. There are many options within the format data series to create different looks per line, which cannot be seen here. Explore the options. We will focus on just two main points, adjusting color and changing markers so they are unique per line. Step 5a, select line if not already open. Step 5b, click on the small downward arrow to the right of your line color. This will open up a color palette from which you can either choose a different color or select more colors if you want to. For example, just select a darker shade of that color of that particular line. Step 6a. This time, select marker to adjust, for example, the tiny circles we see on every line. We need to make unique markers for all marker points per line so that, again, more than color alone is being used to differentiate between the lines. Step 6b. You will also have to select marker options to open up more editing options. Step 6C, you may need to select built in if it is not already selected to then be able to adjust the type and size of the markers. 
Step 6D. Select type to change the marker, for example from a circle to a square. Step 6E. Select size to adjust the size of the marker. Many times the size of the marker is hard for people with good vision to see. It is helpful for everyone if these are enlarged. There are many options for the marker as well, many of which cannot be seen here. Many variations are possible. If you have, for example, a line chart with many lines that you need to make unique, including making just the marker color a different color, although this is best to avoid when you can. Ideally, it should be the same color as the line and marker border. We exaggerated the marker size a bit for the purpose of this video, and it is shown here as well that we changed the line color from a faint orange color to a dark blue. Now our dark blue lines and markers pass the color contrast check test, and our unique markers of a square versus circles provide more than color alone to tell the difference between the lines. The rest would need to be edited for color and marker points as well. Unfortunately, like many other accessibility items on our checklist, the accessibility checker will not pick up on everything. It will not pick up on color contrast issues within a chart, nor will it alert you to the fact that color alone is being used to differentiate between the lines and that different markers need to be used per line. It will also not alert you to the fact that a meaningful chart title has not been applied. The accessibility checker is quite lacking in accessibility alerts when it comes to chart. It does, however, alert us to the fact that we need to apply alternative text to our charts. While some screen reader users may not have access to the alt text of charts, or they may not be alerted that they need to look for it, it is important to apply some alt text. Alt text and charts. We discussed the requirement for alt text in chapter four and reference the WCAG 1.1.1 level AA requirement to provide alt text for non-text content, such as images and charts. We will show you quickly the steps for applying alt text to our charts, but keep in mind that not all screen reader users will hear the information. Another alternative, such as using cell A1 to alert the screen reader to the chart and possibly a summary of the chart, or to explain unusual features may be a good idea. Step one, the tricky part applying, about applying alt text to charts is finding the sweet spot for opening up the alt text tool. You have to right click somewhere in the space between the active grid lines and the larger chart area. Tip, it is often also this way in Word. Step two, if you find that sweet spot, the dialog box with the edit alt text option will appear and now you can select it to open the alt text dialog box. Step three, enter a brief summary of the chart and you may use the alt text to explain any unusual visual elements. Finally, remember that the accessibility checker will miss a lot when it comes to charts. The quick checks developed by the Accessibility and Policy Unit are important to use. In addition to the automatic accessibility checker within Excel, and using a screen reader. In this chapter, we learned to create meaningful navigation to charts for screen reader users by applying meaningful sheet names and chart names, and we learned how to make the visual elements within a chart accessible by ensuring good color contrast and that we are not using color alone for meaning with the marker points on the line. And finally, we addressed applying alt text to charts within every document type, including Excel, we are creating accessibility for people with a variety of disabilities. Some may listen to the chart with a screen reader if they are blind or perhaps have a learning disability, while others may need the unique markers per line within the line chart due to color blindness. The accessibility we apply can greatly assist in providing equal access to CDSS content for both internal employees and external participants and stakeholders. For more information about this topic or any of the topics in our series, contact the Accessibility and Policy Unit at accessibilitypolicyunit at dss.ca.gov.